Hey Judith. Hi Ong. Has the world turned upside down that the famous Ong actually made the first call to me? Ha ha ha. Are you busy today, Judith? Oh, I just finished all my classes, so um, I'm definitely free until the weekend ends. That's great. Actually, the reason I call you is because I have a favor to ask from you. What? What kind of favor do you need, Ong? I will try to help you as much as I can. Trust me. The thing is, hmm, can we meet up so I can talk about my problem directly? But if you have another plan for this afternoon, then we can meet up tomorrow. Uh, of course, we can meet this afternoon. Just let me know when you, when and where do you plan to meet up to meet me. It's five p.m. to late for you to meet me at Taman Sahabat. Mm, no, of course, it's not too late for me. Take your time and be careful on the road. Okay, I will see you later at five p.m. Okay, see you later, Ong. Bye. Bye. Hi, Judith. Hi, Ong. It's been a while since I last saw you. Yes, me too. How are you? Yep, I'm doing just fine. Hopefully, you do too. Yes, I am. Yeah. Why don't you take a seat? Oh, okay. Sure. Thank you. So, I just want to know, what's with the sudden meetup? Are you having any problem? Just, like, tell me. Do you need any favor from me? It's embarrassing for me to say, but yes, I'm face actually facing a problem. What it is? You don't have to be shy about it. We are all friends of all. I told you earlier that I have favor to ask from you, right, Judith? Yeah. The favor is, um, I would like to borrow some money from you. What? But why? I bought a phone for my friend, but I do not have enough money to pay for the full price for the phone. I thought you bought a new phone just a month ago. But this is the latest edition from the brand. What do you need the latest model of the phone for? Every phone has the same function actually. Ah uh, yes. You have an alarming, terrible habit. You are spending money on things that clearly do not need. I'm aware of that, but I can control my mind if I see the thing that I'm interested. I guess maybe you should start managing your money properly, uh, or else you are going to have a very serious financial trouble in future. I, Trust me, I because know, you don't want to be a young adult with a lot of debt, right? I know, but I don't know how to manage my financial. Oh, a friend of mine. Introduce me uh, just a tracking app not too long to help me manage my finance and keeping track of my daily uh, budget. The app has been helping me greatly you know, ever since I started using it uh, a few weeks ago. It's just a few weeks ago. Really? What kind of app was that? You did? Can you show to me? Yeah. So this one is the wallet finance capture and budget thing. You should try this. You should download this. You after this you go home. Since you have Wi-Fi, right? Mm. You should go and. Okay. So let me ask my friend Yadi to explain about the app, since he is the one who introduced this to me. Hey guys, my name is Yadi, and I'm going to tell you about the app that has helped me manage my money effectively. I hope this can also help for friend all who has trouble managing his money. The name of the app is Wallet by Budget Backers. You can get this app in your phone by downloading it from Apple App Store or Google Play Store. After downloading the app, you will need to set up your cash balance according to how much cash you have in your wallet. No worries, you can change this balance later in the app. So for example, since I have 500 ringgit, in my pocket right now, I'm going to enter the amount 500 ringgit. This app has a lot of useful features that will benefit a student in general and I'm going to show you how to use them. First and foremost, this app allows you to do budgeting. 
You can access this feature by tapping on the top left and then choose budget. Create your own budget with the plus button here. Name your budget, for example, I name my budget as food budget. You then can set the period for the budget. Since my parents give me the money for one month, I'm going to choose money. And after that, fill in the, the amount of money you allocate for food for the month. For me, I spent around 200 ringgit for food and I'm going to enter the amount. Pick food and drinks for food categories and then your budget is done. You can do budgeting for other things according to your needs. You can check your budget by accessing it on menu button. To fully utilize this app, you need to make sure that you record every transaction of your cash in hand to ease you to track your money. Every time you spend money, the plus button in home to add new record. For example, today, I already spent 20 ringgit for food, so I'm going to enter 20 ringgit in expense and then select food category and done. You can see expense structure on the homepage at 20 ringgit. So another example, if let's say in the same day today, my uncle has given me 50 ringgit as a gift and I'm going to record it. Same method. Press plus button and then pick income. Enter 50 ringgit. And pick income as a category. And then done. To view your over record, press the records button. And you can see overall transaction ok next we move to statistic the statistic features will help you oversee your money from your balance outlook cash flow spending credit and lastly report simple right? ok that's all for my sharing today and I hope that it will help you and your money management and goodbye.